invited all our mommies and daddies for a party. We're gonna serve them yummy things to eat. But most importantly, we're gonna be polite and well-mannered kids. It's important to have good manners, right? So come and join our party. Here are the chips. Soft and yummy sandwiches. Here comes the salad! And soda for all the mommies and daddies to drink! Everything looks so nice! It's going to be an awesome mommy and daddy's party! I wonder where Cusley is? Yeah, he's supposed to help us! Look who's here to make your day! It's super adorable me, Cusley! You're late, Cusley. We've already finished doing all the work. Hey, that's not true. I'm here to do the most important job. Try out all the food and see if it's good enough for our parents. <laughs> Cusley, please don't eat with your mouth open. It's disgusting. And don't make those sounds while chewing, Cusley. These chips are great! Ugh, Cusley, that's gross! Yeah, you're not supposed to talk with food in your mouth. Hey, what's your problem? I enjoy eating this way. But people around you don't enjoy watching you. Yeah, it grosses them out. That's just too bad for them! <laughs> Yummy! You know what I like best about soda? Uh. The burps! <laughs> Ew! Cusley, that's really bad manners! Uh. But it's so much fun! <laughs> uh. Ugh, oh, bad manners aren't funny, Cusley. Gosh, what a mess you make while eating, Cusley. That's not polite. There's food all over your face. It's disgusting. Yeah. I'd hate to be sitting next to someone with such terrible table manners. Well then, don't! Your problem! I'm headed to the yard to see if the mommies and daddies are on their way. <laughs> Cusley's being so gross! If he behaves like this during the party, all the parents will be disgusted! Oh no! We can't let that happen! It's better to call off the party. What's up, kids? Why does everyone look so sad? I thought you'd all be excited about your mommy's and daddy's party. Mommy, we were really excited about this party. But not anymore. We want to call it off. Why? What happened, darlings? Tell me. Maybe I can help fix things. Mommy, Hesley's doing disgusting things. He's eating with his mouth open and burping and spilling. And he won't stop because he thinks it's funny. Yes, Mrs. Charlie. Cusley's terrible table manners will gross out all our parents. That's why we want to call off the party. Hmm, that doesn't sound very pleasant at all. But you know what, kids? You're his best friends. And if you want to do what's good for him, you must help him improve his table manners. But how, Mommy? He just laughs at us. So here's an idea. Instead of canceling the party for everyone, 
You need to tell Cusley that he's not welcome to the party if he shows such bad manners. That's a great idea! <laughs> Cusley, we need to talk to you. If it's about the way I eat, I'm not listening. You're gonna have to put up with it. No, we're not gonna put up with it. Huh? What does that mean? That means you're not invited to the mommy's and daddy's party. What? But why? Because your bad manners will ruin the party for everyone. That's why we can't have you at the party. My mommy said so too. Your mommy said that? Okay, listen. I really want to be at the party. I promise I'll be well mannered. I'm sorry. I won't behave like that anymore. Please, please, please let me attend the party. I won't be gross anymore. You, you promise? promise? I promise. Okay, we'll give you a chance, Cusley. But if you're ill-mannered again, we won't be your friends. You know who's gonna be the best behaved kid at that party? Super adorable me! Please have some, Mrs. Williams. May I serve you one, Mr. Charlie? You're a very polite kid, Cusley. Yes, you have excellent table manners. Thank you, Mrs. Williams and Mr. Charlie. Actually, I get that a lot. I'm so bored of being praised all the time. Ugh. Watch me have some fun. Where are your manners, Cusley? Don't you know you're supposed to cover your mouth while yawning? <laughs> Come on, it's almost time for Miss Dorothy's class. We can't miss her new story today. It's gonna be so wonderful. Yeah, I want to sit right in the front. Chiku, are you ready for Miss Dorothy's new story? We can sit together and listen to it. It'll be so much fun. Um, but Cha-Cha, I'm saving this seat for Choo-Choo. She's my best friend, and we love sitting together. Oh, um, okay. <gasps> Choo-Choo's here. Here, Choo-Choo, come sit next to me. Oh, wow, I'm so happy we can sit together. Um, okay, guess I'll see you later. Come sit here, Cha-Cha. Miss Dorothy will be here any minute now. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Dorothy. Are you ready for today's new story? Ready! Okay, so here we go. The Giant's Garden. Once upon a time, there was a giant who had a little son whom he loved dearly. They lived in a house with a very beautiful garden with trees and flowers and a lovely swing. Children would pass by the garden and ask the giant if they could come in and admire the flowers and play on the swing. But the giant would chase them away, saying the garden was only for his son to enjoy. As time passed, 
The giant sun started looking sadder and sadder every day. This worried the giant. How can I make you happy, my son? He asked. Oh, Papa, said the giant's son. It's no fun keeping this beautiful garden only to ourselves. It would really make me happy to see the other kids enjoying it too. And that's when the giant realized how selfish he'd been by saving the garden only for his son. He was depriving other kids of so much joy. And so, the giant went and threw the garden gates open and invited the other kids in. And from that day, the giant's garden became the happiest place for miles around. Wow! What an amazing story, Miss Dorothy! I'm glad the giant realized his mistake. Thank you, Miss Dorothy, for telling us a lovely story! Cha-Cha, I'm saving that swing for Choo-Choo. She's my best friend, and we're going to swing together. But Choo-Choo's not here yet. I can play on it till she comes. He's right, Chiku. It's empty right now. He can play on it. But I just told you, Choo-Choo will be here any minute now, and we'd made plans to swing together. Not fair! We also want to have fun! Okay, I guess Chica and I will play something else. Okay. Something else. Okay. There's Choo Choo! Yay! I'm here, Chiku! Let's swing together! One, two, <laughs> look, Chica, that nice seat by the window. It's empty. I think I'll sit there. It'll be so much fun to look outside from it. Wow, yes. Go on, take that seat, Cha Cha. Chiku! Hi, Chacha! Could I take that seat, please? Actually, Chacha, I'm saving this seat for Choo Choo. She's just over there talking to Kasli. I told you, we're best friends and we love to ride home together. But that's not fair, Chiku! What's not fair, Chacha? You saving a seat everywhere! Since the morning, you saved that seat in class, you saved that empty swing, and now you're going to save this window seat too? That's it, Chiku! You can't have everything! I'm going to sit right by that window! Hey! No! Choo Choo and I are going to sit by this window seat! It's mine! Give it to me! No, it's mine! No, it's mine. Give it to me. This seat's taken! No! I'm taking it! You can't, Cha-Cha! It's reserved! It's taken! It's not taken! You just don't want anyone else to take it! You're just like that giant in the story! Not wanting anyone else to enjoy the good things around! <gasps> oh no! Is that how I've been behaving? Yes, Chiku! He's right! You've been behaving like the giant in the story! And it's making Cha-Cha feel bad! Oh no! I didn't mean to make anyone feel bad! I, I guess I was so busy saving the best spots for Choo Choo that I didn't realize how unfair I was being! It's just that Choo Choo and I have so much fun together! And I thought I could show her how special she is to me by saving good spots for her everywhere! I just wanted her to feel special. 
Aw, Chiku. But I always feel special with you. I know you wanted to show me how special I am to you. But I'd feel special sitting anywhere with you. And look at what I did! To make you feel good, I made my other friend feel bad. Hey, it's okay, Chiku. Oh, Cha-Cha, I'm so sorry I've been mean. And that I made you feel bad today. I want you to know that you are very special to me too. And I promise I'll never be mean to you again. Friends? Friends! <laughs> Cha-Cha, you can have that window seat. Because I want you to know I'm sorry about today. Um, that's really nice of you, Chiku. But there must be a way for all of us to enjoy that window seat. That's a nice thought, Cha-Cha. You know what? We could all take turns every day. And today, it's your turn to sit at the window seat, Cha-Cha. Aw, thank you, Chiku. Yay! Enjoy the view, Cha-Cha! <laughs> and we'll all get our turn to enjoy the view. I'm always so excited about coming to school. Yeah, me too. I love learning new things every day. Oh, look, a cute little froggy. I'm going to follow it and see where it goes. Wait for me, Mr. Froggy. Why don't you all head to class? I'll join you in a bit. See you later, Cha-Cha. Place, Mr. Froggy? Huh? What's this? Wow, it's shaped like a car. It's a pencil box. Ooh, so many new pencils and pointy tips. And the eraser is shaped like a car, too! How cool! I love the way it opens and shuts! Oh, lucky kid, whoever owns this car-shaped pencil box. I wish I had one like this. Well, it doesn't belong to me, so I better put it back. Whoever lost it will probably come looking for it. But what if they don't come looking for it? What if it just keeps lying here under the bench? It'll get ruined here in the dirt. It's better that someone uses it. Nah, it doesn't belong to me. I shouldn't keep it. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why do you say you shouldn't keep it? Haven't you ever heard of finders, keepers, losers, weepers? Huh? That's how it works, buddy. If you find something, you can keep it. Too bad for the person who wasn't careful and who lost it. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Cool, I'll keep it. I know you really like this pencil box, Cha-Cha, but it's not yours. You should leave it where you found it. The bell! Excuse me. I've got to get to class. All right, kids. You can start your writing assignment. Go on. Get your pencils and erasers out. Okay, kids, 
It's time for your snack break now. You can put away your books and go out. Thank you, Miss Dorothy. how it feels. Don't worry. I'm sure someone will find it and return it. What's happened? Why is Suki so sad? She's lost a pencil box that she loved. Uh, a pencil box? Yes, it was a very special pencil box because my granny gave it to me for Chinese New Year last year. Uh, Suki, do you remember where you last used it? This morning, I was sitting on that bench. I had the pencil box on my lap. But after that, when I got to class, I couldn't find it. It's beautiful. It's shaped like a car. Choo Choo, Cha Cha, will you help me look for it? Of course! Let's go search near the bench. Cha Cha, you can tell the truth and do the right thing. Don't do that, Cha Cha. It could get you in trouble. Besides, don't you love the pencil box? I love the pencil box, but it doesn't belong to me. And I don't like how it's making Suki so sad. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to do the right thing. Choo Choo, Suki, wait, I need to tell you something. What is it, Cha Cha? Tell us. Suki, this morning I found a beautiful car-shaped pencil box under this bench. Oh, and then? Well, I liked it so much, I picked it up and decided to keep it. I believed that finders are keepers. And that it's okay to take something that someone else has lost. But now I've understood that taking something that doesn't belong to you isn't a nice thing to do. Suki, I took your pencil box and I'm really sorry about it. I want to give it back to you. Oh, Cha-Cha, how brave of you to tell the truth. Do you forgive me, Suki? Are we still friends? Of course I forgive you, Cha-Cha. And of course we're still friends. I'm proud to have a brave and honest friend like you, Cha-Cha. Well done, little brother. I'm so proud that you had the courage to do the right thing. Cha-Cha? Pesley, 
they don't belong to you. So maybe you shouldn't take them. Finders Keepers isn't the right thing to do. Yeah, you're right, Cha-Cha. It's never good to take something that isn't yours. But you know what? I'm sure the kid who owns them will want to give them to me because they'll realize they look best on me. Oh, Cosly! Happy Hoppy Me! Did you see that? Did you see how far I jumped? I was the first one out of the bus! Oh, that's nothing! I could jump much better than that! Really? Can you show me please, Cusley? Oh, no, that's not possible. Because... Because if I jump, I'll... Uh, I'll ruin my hairstyle. I need to look great, don't I? Oh, Cusley! Cha-Cha, that was a really good jump. Yeah, it was. You're really very good at jumping, Cha-Cha. Pah! Jumping's easy. Anyone can jump like that. Running fast is the real thing. Can you run fast, Cha-Cha? Yeah, Cusley. I can run very fast. I bet you can't. I bet you're really slow. No, I run really fast. Okay, prove it. Look at that kid there. He's running to class. Can you overtake him and be the first one to reach the classroom? Sure I can. Bet you can't. Bet you can't. Bet you're a slow poke. You bet I can. Watch this. reach the classroom before anyone else. <laughs> Bet you can't! Bet you're a slow poke! Forget about the bet. Do the right thing! If you don't win the bet, Cusley will make fun of you, and you won't like it. No one saw this happen. No one will ever know. Now, run fast and win the bet. Look, Cusley, I was the first to reach the classroom. I guess you won the bet, Cha-Cha. But that's only because I wasn't racing with you. Oh, Cosly! Well done, Cha-Cha. You're a great runner. But what's even better is that you're a sweet and kind person. Uh, thanks, Choo Choo. Hi, kids. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Dorothy. Miss Dorothy, what are we going to learn today? Kids, I have a very interesting lesson planned for you today. We're going to learn about those very large creatures that lived on the Earth billions of years ago. Dinosaurs! Wow! That's amazing! That's Cha-Cha's favorite topic. Isn't it, Cha-Cha? You must be so excited. Cha-Cha, you don't look too excited. Is everything okay? Now's the time to tell the truth about what happened in the corridor. No, if you tell the truth, you'll get into trouble. Oh, yes, Choo 
Juju, everything's okay. Super okay. <laughs> Now, this is a picture of the largest dinosaur that has ever lived. Cha-Cha knows a lot about dinosaurs, so maybe he can tell us what it's called. Cha-Cha, will you tell us? Uh, sorry, Miss Dorothy. I, I wasn't listening. Cha-Cha. Is something bothering you? Do the right thing, Cha-Cha. It'll make things better. No, it'll make things worse. Come on, Cha-Cha. Yes, Miss Dorothy. Something is bothering me. I did something wrong. Cha-Cha, you do know that you can talk to me about anything, don't you? Miss Dorothy, I had a bet with Cusley that I can run very fast. So I started running to class, and in the corridor, I bumped into a kid. Go on, Cha-Cha. And then he fell, and he got hurt, and started to cry. But I didn't stop to help him. I didn't even say sorry to him. Oh, Cha-Cha. It's because I wanted to win the bet. I was scared I'd get into trouble for hurting him, Miss Dorothy. First of all, Cha-Cha, it's brave of you to tell the truth. Really, Miss Dorothy? Yes, Cha-Cha. Often when we accidentally hurt someone or break something, we feel scared to tell the truth. So, you've done great. Now, what do you think you should do next, Cha-Cha? Miss Dorothy, I want to meet that kid and tell him how bad I feel for hurting him and not saying sorry to him. I'll go do that during the snack break, Miss Dorothy. Great idea, Cha-Cha. I feel so much better now, Miss Dorothy. Great. Let's get back to our discussion on dinosaurs now. This one's called the T-Rex. It was the biggest and most powerful of all dinosaurs. Time for a snack break now, kids. And thanks, Cha-Cha, for telling us such interesting things. Hi, I'm Cha-Cha. Can I speak with you for a minute? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm Jasper. You're the one who knocked me over, right? That's right. And that's what I want to talk to you about. I've been feeling terrible about hurting you, Jasper. And I want to say sorry to you. Oh, thank you. That makes me feel better. And it makes me feel better, too. By the way, you really are a great runner. <laughs> you are, Cha-Cha. I was looking all over for you. Meet my new friend Jasper, Choo-Choo. I would came to say sorry to him because I knocked him over and hurt him while running. Hi, Jasper. Well done, Cha-Cha. Remember what I said earlier? You're a great runner. But what's even better is that you're a sweet and kind person. forward to another exciting day at school. Huh? Yesterday when we went home, did we leave our classroom looking so messy? Gosh, it is a mess. Yeah. That isn't right. It shouldn't happen again. 
We have to do something about this. Good morning, kids. Good morning, Miss Dorothy. What was that you just said, Chiku? Do something about what? Miss Dorothy, as soon as we entered the classroom this morning, Choo Choo pointed out how messy it looked. And so, I was wondering if we could do something to make sure we never leave the classroom looking like this. That would be a very responsible thing to do. Hmm. Let me see if I can think of a solution. I know what we can do. We can appoint a cleanup officer. A cleanup officer? Yes. Someone from among us whose job it'll be to remind us that we have to keep our classroom tidy. That's a great idea, Miss Dorothy. But who will be the cleanup officer? You, Choo Choo! Me? Yes, because you notice immediately when things are messy. And you like things in order. And you're good at getting things done. And you'll make a better cleanup officer than me. Even though I'm the smartest and the greatest. Oh, Cusley! <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Choo Choo? Your friends all think you'll make a great cleanup officer. Thanks, friends. Yes, Miss Dorothy. I'm ready to be cleanup officer. Yippee! Thanks, everyone. Okay, then. Let's get on with our art class now. Ready, everyone? Ready, Miss Dorothy! Good job, all of you. When you're done, you can pin your work on the board. And after that, you can take a snack break. a mess. Hey! Come back! I'm the cleanup officer. I guess I can't ignore the mess. you shared, Cha-Cha? It was delicious! You're welcome, Chiku. Thanks for sharing your snacks with me. Oh, Chuchu, there you are. Why didn't you come out for snacks? You must be hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. Wow, look at how clean that table looks. Done, Officer Choo Choo. I know I'm the smartest and the greatest, but even I couldn't have done such a great job. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all for today's lesson, kids. It's time for your drama practice. Yes! Oh, I love drama practice. Yay! 
Hey! Shouldn't we tidy up first? The classroom looks a mess. Oh, don't be a bore officer, Choo Choo. We can do it later. Yeah. Right now, we need to start our drama practice and decide who's gonna play what part. Let's go! Just because I'm cleanup officer doesn't mean that nobody else should clean their own mess. It's everybody's duty to keep the classroom clean. Idea! I know what to do. Time to interrupt my friend's drama practice. Good morning, Detective Chiku. I'm here with my team. This is Captain Chica, and this is Sheriff Cusley. Um, Sergeant Cha-Cha, you forgot to mention I'm the smartest sheriff ever. Good morning, Sergeant Cha-Cha, Captain Chica, and the smartest sheriff, Cusley. Let's get going. We have work to do. You bet you have work to do. Choo Choo, where were you? You're late for drama practice. We waited. But we've already decided on our parts. Now there's no part for you. Hang on, Choo Choo, you could be a tree. You could stand right here next to us while we act our parts. I'm sorry to interrupt the drama practice, but there's something all of you need to do before you act your parts. Huh? What's this? Ew! My hands are covered in paint! Yuck! Mine too! Oops! What a mess! Ugh! Oh! But isn't this the palette I used during our class? I think I know what Choo Choo's trying to tell us. We all use this stuff. We all just left it there. Gosh! And we ran out to eat our snacks without cleaning up our mess. Leaving the cleanup officer to tidy up alone. That wasn't fair of us. Yeah, that wasn't right. And Choo Choo couldn't come out at snack time or join us for drama practice, which she loves. Because, because we, we left, left all the cleaning up to her. We're sorry, Choo Choo. You're an excellent cleanup officer, Choo Choo, because you've made us understand that it's everyone's responsibility to keep the classroom clean. Come on, let's go to the classroom. We have work to do. Wow, the classroom looks really tidy. Thanks to cleanup officer Choo Choo, Miss Dorothy. She made us realize that it's everyone's responsibility to keep the classroom clean. Good job, Officer Choo Choo. The best cleanup officer ever. Even better than me. Oh, Cusley. <laughs> Thank you, friends. I couldn't have done this without your help. I must say, we make a great team! One day, Miss Dorothy, Cha-Cha's teacher, made an announcement. Children, we're going to have a costume party at school tomorrow. Everyone must dress up in a costume of your choice. There'll be a prize for the best costume. Mm -hmm. 
So please, make sure your costume is an interesting one. Cha-Cha liked dinosaurs very much. And so, he wanted to go to the costume party as a dinosaur. I'll wear a dinosaur costume. And I'll say, roar! Roar! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Charlie, Cha-Cha's father, helped Cha-Cha look for a dinosaur costume. I like this costume, Daddy. Please buy me this costume. The costume Cha-Cha chose was very expensive. This costume is very expensive, Cha-Cha. Do you really want it? It will be of no use to you. After the costume party, you won't be able to wear it or do anything with it again. Huh, that's right, Daddy. Mr. Charlie took Cha-Cha for a walk. He pointed out to Cha-Cha how there was garbage everywhere. Cha-Cha, look at all these cans and boxes. People have thrown them away, even though they can be used again. Why don't we take them home and use them to make a dinosaur costume? We'll save a lot of money and we'll be helping nature too. Good idea, Daddy. Mr. Charlie and Cha-Cha took the cans and boxes home. They used them to make a dinosaur costume. When the costume was ready, Cha-Cha saw that it looked even better than the one he had wanted before. The costume is even better than the one I had wanted. Let me wear it and roar! Roar! <laughs> the next day, Cha-Cha wore the dinosaur costume to school. All the children admired it. Wow! Your dinosaur costume looks great, Cha-Cha. You look like a real dinosaur. Yes! <laughs> Roar! Miss Dorothy asked Cha-Cha and all the other children to stand on the stage. Please tell everyone about your costumes, children. <laughs> when it was Cha-Cha's turn, he told everybody about his dinosaur costume. Hi everyone, I am a recycled dinosaur. My daddy and I made this costume with old cans and boxes. We use recycled materials so that we don't waste anything or harm nature. If we all reuse and recycle things, we can save trees and help the environment. Everyone was happy to hear how Cha-Cha and Mr. Charlie had made the dinosaur costume. And Miss Dorothy asked everyone to clap for Cha-Cha and Mr. Charlie. Let's all clap for Cha-Cha and Mr. Charlie. And let's try to be like them and make our costumes by recycling things next time. If we do that, we'll not only save money, but we will also save nature. Soon, it was time to announce the name of the winner. And the prize for the best costume goes to... Cha-Cha, the recycled dinosaur. Hooray! Cha-Cha was very happy that he had won the prize. Recycle and reuse whatever you can. Roar! That reduces waste and helps our planet and the environment.
Amen. <laughs>